Hi, this is Jason Moore with Vatrix, and today we're going to cover the basic features and operations on this Vatrix ETG gauge. So the Vatrix ETG is available in two accuracies, 0.05 and 0.1%. So let's get started. To turn the unit on, press and down and hold the power key. The unit will boot up, show you the model, revision, PSI, and bar value, and serial number. So right now we're in measure mode. You're measuring live pressure. We have the bar graph which tells you where you're at per the range. So we're at 0 PSI on a 3000 PSI gauge. And we have the units. So in measure mode you have the ability to zero the unit by hitting the zero key. You can change the units by hitting the units key using the arrows to navigate where you want. Say so we'll select bar, hit select and you change the bar. Another neat feature in measure mode is the ability to take live snapshots of readings with date and time. So right now I could take a snapshot. You see the camera icon flash. That means I grab that, store that to memory. So it saves you from writing the reading down with pencil and paper. Explore further options. We can go down in the menu by pressing the down arrow key. So this gets you into the menu. To navigate in the menu, use the arrow keys. So for instance, let's say that I want to do a leak test. So I'm going to go over to the right, use leak test, hit select. So now I'm in live leak test mode. So leak test lets me check cylinders, uh, tanks, anything that you want to check for a leak. You have to run it for 10 seconds and it'll tell you the leak rate. So I can scroll over, hit stop. It's going to tell me the leak rate in whatever units I'm in per minute. To do another test, I basically go right back, hit select, and you're starting again. Now, like I said, you have to run it for 10 seconds to get meaningful data. So I can stop it once again. It says not enough time because it was 9 seconds. So let's go back up in the menu. Min-max, so it's a live screen which gives you the max, min, and live readings. It'll record, basically we don't have anything hooked up to pressure. It'll record the live, track that. Now to reset it, I can go back under here, hit select and reset it. At any time, it'll reset. So I go back up in the menu. Sensor. So a unique feature on the ETG is the ability to measure not only gauge or whatever range you selected, you can select absolute, which puts you in absolute mode. So right now I have an alarm set, and I'll cover that in a little bit, but it's in absolute mode. We're in bar absolute, so we can go... Let's go to a unit that you're familiar with, PSI. So we're reading about ambient pressure or 14 PSI. So to get back to the gauge, we select gauge and now we're back to zero. All right, so let's dive into alarm since you saw the screen turn red and flash alarm. So right now I have an on a high alarm set at 10 PSI. Notice when I went to absolute mode, which is around 14 PSI, the alarm tripped. So I can turn that off or set that under the parameters. If I want to set it, simply hit select, use the arrow keys, and drive up or down, and then choose your particular reading. So we could set it to 13, hit select, and that set the high alarm. You can always go back in under the menu and verify it. All right, so I covered alarms, leak test, min-max, uh, units. So let's go down into units. Now a neat feature that we put in, say you didn't want to scroll through all 26 units or you just wanted to concentrate on a couple, I can lock each unit. So if I didn't want to see bar, I can lock that right now. So if I go back home and now if I scroll through, bar is gone. So you can... Uh, basically truncate the menu if you wanted to just focus on a couple units you want to hit down 26 times it's a neat way to uh, to make it easier for the uh, operator back to measure mode hit the home key so in the menu we have snapshot now I mentioned that before so here are the live readings that I taken with the date and time so I can scroll through and see those it will take it in whatever units you were in and you can scroll through the different options you have there once you hit the snapshot feature in measure mode. So you can store up to 10 snapshots uh, so you wouldn't, like I said, have to go into a full data logging session. 
All right, so let's go back to home. Let's dive in to admin. So admin, we give you the capability to lock out certain menus or certain features. And I set the password to 2017. So we'll set that, hit select. So in admin, you can restore the factory cal, you can uh, perform a calibration, you can reduce the resolution on the display. Say you wanted to um, not see the full digits uh, on the display, you can actually adjust that. Now under control features, which is the first one, so I can lock out, it's the same menu that you saw on units, I can lock out particular menus I didn't want people in or to make it easier to use, I can lock out basically everything here and just able to read just pressure. So you can go through, say I didn't want the uh, dampening, I wanted to lock that out from a user, they didn't want to use dampening, so I can go over and lock that out. So that will not appear, they will not be able to get into that particular feature unless they use that password that we went over earlier, which was 2017. So that's a quick overview on the Vatrix ETG. It has a quarter inch MPT connection, stainless, uh, runs on three AA's, gets you about a thousand hours on three standard alkaline. Uh, we have some other quick, neat features, Bluetooth, uh, that we'll be introducing. But in this video, I just want to cover the basic operation. So thanks for tuning in to the Vatrix channel. Uh, stay tuned for some uh, new interesting videos on the Vatrix EGG.